Hey guys, in today's video I'm going to answer questions about ick, cycling, UV sterilizers, and when to add your cleanup crew in your reef tank. Hey guys! I've been messing with the Pico today. Did some siliconing this morning, so I'm not gonna silicone anymore, guys. I'm gonna buy tanks. It's really fun to do it, but it's messy and I'm a perfectionist. A mini Pico with an overflow box. It's a little bit of a pain in you know, I mean, I guess I wouldn't have been able to buy one like this and I can say it's my own, like that I custom built it, but it's a lot of work and it's messy. I'll clean it up. It'll look good. You know, I'm the complainer. In the end, I'll be happy I did it. So today's Water Change Wednesday. New viewers, what that is, is you ask questions out in the description in the comments below. I answer them there. And then I answer them here on what we call Water Change Wednesday. So welcome, and here's Water Change Wednesday. First question is Johan, if one of my fish shows signs of ick, how do I address it? I'm limited with space. I have a 10 gallon and he can't isolate the fish. He can't take it out and quarantine it. He's not set up for that. My experience with ick, guys, has been limited. Ick usually occurs because you've brought something into the tank new. It doesn't usually crop up. If you're running and maintaining a healthy tank and one of your fish get ick. But what I used to do in the times that it happened is just observe, ride it out, you know? It's almost impossible to pull a fish out of a reef tank. If you don't panic and give it some time, most fish will fight off the ick. If you can get the fish out easily, uh, then you would quarantine. There's many products out there with copper in it, and copper will kill the ick. Seachem makes a product called Cupramine or Cupramine and it's a two to three day treatment. You quarantine, it'll kill the ick, and then you can put your fish back into the tank. Here's another one. Aussie D asks, have you ever experienced parasites, ick or velvet, and what's your opinion on UV sterilizers? I know when I first started reef keeping, the last thing you want is a fish to get ick because it's almost impossible to retrieve a fish in a reef tank. So I used a UV sterilizer for some time, which kills parasites down to the parasitic level. Some say that the UV sterilizer is killing microbiology, that it's not necessary. The bulbs aren't cheap as I tried it without it and I never noticed any real difference. I had a little update on my two-part dosing. Let's check it out, I'll show you what happened. All right, I thought I'd show you this, guys. This is my two-part. You guys have seen this. I did a video on it. Those are BRS pumps, dosing pumps. And check out the date on October 20th. That's 2019, not October 2020. So almost a year, and I'm about ready to refill. So economically speaking, this is the way to go. C balance. There's B and A, A and B. I'd never use anything else. These come about this full, concentrated, with the calcium and the alkalinity. They come about the same height, not even a quarter full, and you fill it with RODI uh, up to about two inches. This one I filled a little higher, but that's okay. 69 Camaro asks, I have a question. French fries or tater tots? All right, here's another one. Sathu asks, how many days after the start of the cycling 
should cleanup crews be added? Guys, you don't want to add anything to your tank while it's cycling. That could potentially kill anything you put in it. Test for ammonia and nitrite during your cycling period. And when both of them hit zero, then you can add a cleanup crew. What I usually do when I do my cycling is once everything's zero, I usually wait a little bit longer and you'll start to see the diatoms come up. As soon as I see the diatoms, then I add the cleanup crew. One hermit crab and one astria per gallon of water. Just a little sneak peek on this, guys. Check it out. Got the overflow in. There it is, guys. Woohoo! All right. 303 Colo Guy or Colo Guy is having a little trouble with his Hygar Mini Wave Maker. Even at the minimum flow, it's too strong for his corals. I had some correspondence with him and I'm not so sure. I'm puzzled about that one because I have one back here and I have the setting on three, which is almost full power. And this is a five gallon. So my only thought at this point, 303, is that it's possible it might be a manufacturer's defect. Maybe it's running on the highest power and not being able to control it. We talked about angling it, putting it in different parts of the aquarium so it's not blasting certain corals. I'd probably need to see a little video clip of what's going on with that to really make an answer. I wasn't sure whether I'd get to this or not, but just in case, here it is. This is what I'm gonna use, or I'm gonna attempt to use in the Pico Reef. This is kind of cool because it works inline and submersible. So I may mess around with the inline way of doing it. Then all I need to do is stick a half inch hose down in there. I don't have to put the whole pump in. So the studio's shaping up guys. I've eliminated the reflection and I did that by, if you saw back here, there's now a black curtain that blocks out the sunlight. I'm all artificially lit now. I don't know, you know, I, I like the sunlight, but in order to get rid of the reflections, I needed to do that. Let me show you a shot of the studio, guys. I'll let you in on the studio. This is what we got going now, guys. Check it out. Tom Reefer Studio. Big production here, huh, guys? Let me back it up. Look at this, huh? Uh-huh. Tom Reefer Studio, behind the scenes. So that's how I do it, guys, if you want to know. All right, guys, I think that's enough for today. What do you think? All right, one more. So I'm gonna continue working on the Pico setup. I'll have something for Sunday on that, I'm sure. Have a great rest of the evening, and I'll see you on Sunday. Take care now. What do you think, guys? All right, so I hope everybody's had a good week so far. I know you're looking forward to Water Change Wednesday. In today's video, today's video I'm gonna show you. In today's video, I'm gonna answer questions on UV sterilizer. In today's video, I'm gonna answer questions on UV sterilizers, parasites,